And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poppy Braum. That's right, we're going to be heading back over to Bandle City, doing all the uh, cool stuff with Bandle City, all the awesome, you know, two drops that it has, and uh, going to be having Poppy to go along with Braum. So this is a, a viewer's minute donation deck um, that, you know, we want to go wide with all these small units. Hopefully we can do that, and then Poppy... Attacking will be able to grant both itself and all the other allies with equal or less power, plus one, plus one. And of course, an ally that has equal or less power than Poppy is going to be Braum. Braum, you know, just starts with the zero power. So Braum getting buffed up by the Poppy turns it into a one six, which is going to be, you know, much better challenger. And if you can attack again, a two seven and so on. So, you know, we have that combination. Also playing stress defense which is really good with Braum, you know, giving it one power that way also. And we're going to have three copies of Omen Hawks. And so if we're lucky, we can have Braum get buffed by the Omen Hawk or Poppy, either one. They're both very good to get buffed by Omen Hawk. Also, another way to make Braum and Poppy larger is with Feel the Rush. So we already have all this awesome early game. We want to have some late game to help take over. We're going to use Feel the Rush to make both Braum and Poppy 10-10s. <laughs> so then everything's going to be smaller than Poppy once it's a 10-10. And of course you know, Braum there as well. So two copies of Feel the Rush uh, for the super late game. With everybody else playing Lulus and Poppies these days, we're going to be playing four, or sorry, three copies of the four mana spell Buster Shot to be able to deal three to a unit. It's not ideal. It's slow speed, uh, but it's not too difficult to enable to make it uh, two cost instead of four. Uh, we just have to play a Bandal card and a Freljord card, and then you know, like a Demacia with Poppy, or a Targon with Telescope, or Ionia with Commando, or whatever Bandle City Mayor makes. It's like, we can do it, um, but, you know, I just, just whenever they play, like, a, you know, a Poppy on round four, you gotta have your Buster Shot to help kill it right away. All right, anyway, let's get to it. Let's play some Poppy Braum, and uh, let's see how this deck does. I am worried about, like, with those Poppy decks, they're usually playing the Bandle Tree, and that's the card that I'm worried about. There's really not a very good answer to the Bandle Tree that I want to play. So we have two copies of Stress Defense, two copies of Mini Morph to try to deal with Scion. Um, Buster Shot is a good card against Draven, so I think I'm going to keep it. So I think I'm just going to keep this hand. I could see Mulliganing the Pokey Stick, but I'm usually pretty happy to have a Pokey Stick. Um, that's the one. I'll just keep it, but I could see mulliganing that. The sun brought got me good. Anything else? <laughs> Prediction started. Two minute prediction. Are we gonna win or lose? Yes, mama is the beast, mama. Let's get this Bandle Commando in right away. Boom Baboon is like the reason to play Pokey Stick. So there we go. Now we get this hungry owl cat. Good blocker. It's Draven time. But sometimes it's Draven time. We kinda have to do this. I do this, they deal five to me. If I play Owl Cat, I'm gonna play Owl Cat. Because they should make the zero two challenger, you would think. No, no zero two challenger. Interesting. I'm gonna play another commando. Let's cook it. Nah. I'll just go with the mayor instead. I should make a speech. 
Where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Okay, so I got a couple of fearsomes. I got one fearsome blocker. I had one fearsome blocker. Stress defense one. Down to six. Okay, not bad options. The three sisters can be really nice for this matchup. Not bad options at all. Could really, really use that Poppy. Can I take the entry? Because Poppy buffing these things up to be larger so they can block fearsome does sound kind of important right now. Think, I don't think Vault of Helia is any good. I don't think it is. Sultan stitches to awaken the blood. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. That's a very bad sign. Hey. hey. No. 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 Alright, so that's a bad sign for us. No. Um... Okay, so I, I really needed I really needed that Poppy to attack. That was necessary. And un unfortunately I didn't have like the mana to be able to play Poppy and have the troll chant back up. So what do I have? Like what can I alright, so we can we're definitely gonna stress defense one of these things, but this is still two, three, four, five. So I'm taking five. You know, we can Do this, we take five. They they have the spinning axe and handle, so stop. <laughs> Sorry, a salesperson came to knock on the door. Okay, there's the six. All right, so that just didn't go very well. I. I needed to do better against those fearsome units. Those fearsome units. Yeah, I needed to do better against them. All right, Jack. Hey, that's awesome. That's wonderful to hear. That is very exciting. Taking the first steps. Uh, 
All right, so sorry I didn't win that one, Jack. Okay, Ezreal Karma. I think we should do better against Ezreal Karma. Hidden Pathways. Maybe I just don't need Braum. Hidden Pathways is like pretty intriguing to keep. Okay. Good hand. Replace itself, replace itself, replace itself. Replace itself by two. The only thing that doesn't is this commando. Everything else does. Because I certainly assume they're going to Mystic Shot the commando. Are they considering Twin Disciplines on this? Saving a 2 1? I mean, I'd hope so. You best believe I don't play. I'm expecting this card to die. Miss Shot just the very first card. <laughs> Ezreal decks always have tons of Mystic Shots. Aloof Travelers. Hmm. I guess Pokey Stick? No, Elixir Ryan. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Looks of Iron protecting Pompey. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. All right, got the buff. Wow, very nice. All right, that worked out perfectly. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Um. Let's go. Grab my hat. It's possible they don't kill. Yeah, it's possible they don't kill the mayor immediately. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. See you, Karma. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. But unfortunately, no troll chance for me, so the Bandle City Mayor will die now. That still went pretty well. Overall, that went pretty well. So I thought they cast two spells for the straggling, but I guess not. I guess they did not. Could go with another aloof travelers. Take up. See, there's just so much card advantage in these uh, these Bandle City decks. That it's like, it's like these hidden pathways. It's so hard to like ever play these cards. Lame. Firing. So of course my plan was to damage that and then take heart it. Alright, that'll do. 
said, you can kill me, but you are not killing my Ezreal. And we are one and one. It's better when they don't have a bunch of fearsome stuff. Fearsome is really good against Bandle City. Bandle City is just the world of two power things. That's what we kind of have here with our deck. Just lots and lots of two power. And so we got Fearsomed. G1. Darkness Control. Can we get rid of a Vagar? Do you have the Busta shot? With his hands pretty slow. I'm going to send the three fours back. Look for some ones and twos. So Bamble City Mayor now has Vulnerable. Give me your malice, creatures of huh. doom. They could have made it so this thing can't block. They decided to go with that instead. Let's go Elixir of Iron. Yeah. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. See, I think they should have gone this thing can't block. If they, you know, they had this catalyzer, they knew that they were going with that. I think that's what I'm doing if I'm them. Baddies beware, mama's got a gun. On it and on him. All right, mayor time. Ooh, it was going to be mayor time, but now it's Brom time. Oh, but no no stress defense with the Brom. So I challenge there to be able to keep Poppy alive, but maybe I should be getting the one damage on the Vagar so that the Buster Shot kills it. But then again, I do have the Pokey Stick, so we have the Pokey Stick plus the Buster Shot, which now um, we'll go ahead and take out the Vagar. Basically, Ride of Negation is like kind of teach me not to like cast everything at the same time. There's probably no harm in casting them both at the same time. They've got a ghost of a chance. So 
I can't save Poppy. At least not yet. I don't really want any of these. Guess I'll keep the shark trainer for later. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. I will shape death as easily as clay. Good card. First we fight, we should be friends. Hmm. Maybe at the end? Yeah, Doesn't really matter either way. Sure what to do either. Hmm. Yeah, the, the bug that people are complaining about right now is uh, Curious Shell Folk with Payday. You create infinite lucky finds. That's the bug right now. So you're you just you're able to create infinite lucky finds, which obviously is not something you are supposed to be able to do. And so that is the current bug. Yes, we haven't we haven't played against that yet. Thankfully. Huh. Guess I'm the big guns now. to be able to play that, then attack, then create another one. Instead. Yeah, they're just holding this up. It's gonna be close. Honestly, not looking that great right now. If they can, you know, keep Senna alive and level up Senna and everything. Like maybe I should be going for the Shark Trainer. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I 
Have you you met my shield? So we take out the board, but we're left with nothing. I was saying earlier that it's hard to play hidden pathways because we have too many cards all the time. Well, I take it back. I would like to have hidden pathways now. <laughs> we didn't play against a deck that gets to create a lot of darkness. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. So I take it back. Can we get hidden pathways? Draw two. It did make me discard. This was the opponent. Yeah, like they made me discard Field of Rush, right? Fire. Darkness Pretty sure that and light. Just it. All right, so that deals four to an enemy. Stand behind Brock. And they didn't cast the darkness before attacking. Oh, this is slow speed. I can't respond with this thing. I should just cast it. Uh, it's slow speed. I should have cast it. I'm used to that card being slow, because now they get to respond, kill something with the darkness, level up Senna, Senna doesn't die. Uh, gross. This is going to be a huge, uh, huge challenge trying to defeat both champions. There's hidden pathways. There you are, and there's field of rush. But I kind of need to attack. All right, so I open. Don't I? When allies attack, spend one spell mana. Oh, you have to have a spell mana? You can't just, like, spend one regular mana? You've got to be kidding me. I can't just spend a mana. It has to be specifically a spell mana. Well, then I... There's no reason... I should not have played that Hidden Pathways. Wow. Well, wow. This game's really hard. <laughs> this game is very difficult. Guess I'll attack, I guess. Yeah, I really wish I didn't play that Hidden Pathways. Hidden Pathways just hurting me. I talk bad about it, so then it does that to me. Keep 
your distance. Witness true power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all about this true and or power. I forward. Darkness and light. Make the hurt your weapon. Yep, and they just cast this now, create another one, round star, cast it again. There's just 20 darkness damage to the Nexus. So I, I had different things that I didn't do that, that cost me that game. Um, especially the the round they played the lifesteal unit. You know, remember, like, I could have played the loping telescope first before attacking. I would have had to cover up something, and if I would have done that... I didn't. If I would have done that, then we would have found the double stun. If we double stun something there, we're attacking for lethal. One of those kind of things. Not an easy game. Good hand opponent, though. They had a lot of their champions. They had four champions. Alright, so Zoe Nami. What is my favorite champ from the expansion? I honestly don't really have one. I there's I don't really dislike any of them. I think I guess I would probably say Scion, I guess. I don't really dislike the champions. Right? Like so I, it's not like I'm saying, like I I don't dislike them, but I don't really have like a favorite. I like basically all of them, you know? Like I like Ziggs and Tristana and Poppy and Nami and um, everything. You know, like I like all the champions, but there's not one that's my favorite. Like the two darkness champions are pretty cool. Zoe, Nami. Yeah, you like Zareth a lot? Yeah. You can do interesting stuff with Zareth, I agree. That's a good point. Yeah, Zareth's a, a well-designed champion. Zareth most powerful? No. Could it use, like, a slight buff? Sure. But still a well-designed champion. Opponent had a perfect Nami hand, leveling up Nami on round four before attacks. Now every spell they cast plus up the plus two plus one. Okay. And I am certainly going to need to mini morph this Nami immediately. Oh, don't hurt. Three out of four. That's what I thought. Probably Pokey Stick Zoe. What a setup, though. Round four, level up Nami, and then these three. Going oh, back to back to back. That's a setup. I don't know. Did I just troll chant? Save this thing? It's about to be a 6 3. She just dies to these. Yeah, let's just kill Zoe while we can. There. Love it. Rom good. I wish I was able to play the Omen Hawk first. To buff up that Brom.
<laughs> yeah, Arsenal is probably the best champion that they uh, made in this expansion. See, that's why you just gotta sometimes just play a buster shot. The buster shots actually look pretty good for me. I, I've misplayed it. You know, misplayed it last game, forgetting it was slow speed. But it has looked good. It's It's been a necessary card for us. I don't want them pale cascading here and blocking the poppy. So poppy is two out of three for the level up. Almost there. I wonder what moon weapon they wanted that they grabbed so incredibly quickly. go grab a box to post, but that doesn't... Yeah, I'm not sure what moon weapon they wanted so bad. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. I don't really know exactly what I have planned for this Brittle Steel, but, you know, just kind of having it. Uh, I, I felt like the Pokey Stick wasn't too important, and then Elixir of Iron either protects, you know, like the champions, but Brittle Steel can protect the champions, but then also does a better job protecting our Nexus. And that's what I figured, is that maybe we wanted something to protect the Nexus. Shark Trainer, I've learned about you. You're not my favorite anymore. So I think the moon weapon they probably grabbed was the stun moon weapon. That would be my guess. And so I need to open attack and level up Poppy immediately. This granting, is this granting all of these plus two plus two an impact? Well, that's pretty good. And then leveled up Poppy already has impact, so it's impact two. Was that not the moon weapon card? That must have been super cool star chart, not a moon weapon card that they played, that I was thinking that they had a moon weapon the whole time. It was, it was super cool star chart the whole time. And they played the messenger from that. Okay. Put some down to seven. That's fine. Obviously, I could do stuff about this to make this smaller, but again, I'd rather protect my Nexus total. I don't really care about protecting the bird. We have other things we can play instead of the bird. Alright, cool. And so I can basically wait to see if they go all in. So really what won us that game was that mini-morph, right? Mini-morphing the Nami. 
we needed to do that. That Nami was going to go crazy. Yeah, they had all damn Pell Cascades. All damn Pell Cascades. Ooh. We haven't seen Pirate Burn in a while. I would think the Pirate Burn would be pretty good against the Poppy decks because of the Poppy decks being kind of slow. So I think that they probably are going to be pretty good here. Basically, you know, like we have all two twos. It's hard for us to kill a Misfortune. I am playing, you know, three copies of that one spell to try to kill Misfortune. Tristana's champion spell. Poison Dart, Elixir of Iron. What wondrous discoveries await below? I'll burn for I've done. I'll shoot the wings off a of bilge wasp. Careful where you point that thing. Deep breath now. What's that you got there? No ping telescope. No pray, no pay. Yep, that card's good. Me, 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 me. This requires my largest official hat. Persistence is key. Mustache ready. I have to make this block, I, you know, could try to be able to go, like, next round another Bandle City Mayor, and then, you know, kind of go crazy from there, but we, we gotta make that block. That's a block I don't want to make, it's a block we have to make. I don't understand why Misfortune's attacking. Okay, now I understand. Make it interesting for me. Well, not too bad. You know, it's three damage there. Not too, too bad. It could be worse. That's worse. Can any of y'all make some Nexus healing stuff? I don't know. Pass. <laughs> uh, I guess the Shark Trainer. Serpent with... Anymore, it's not the worst. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. For the Empire. No. Make the Empire proud. Yeah, I think this pirate burn deck is probably good against Poppy. You know, like, sure, like, we're gonna win a late game. Like, if both of our life totals started at 50, we would do just fine. But, like, that's not how the game works, right? Like, our life totals don't start at 50. Routes 
it's not how that's not how the game works. We start at 20, and they do a good job of getting us down to zero, right? Like they didn't hit with an attacker after round three with the misfortune hitting on round three, but you know you can just do 12 nexus damage pretty easily with that fire burn. I don't know the the mayor the mayor just cost more and depending on how they attacked they weren't as aggressive. Yeah, I mean maybe we should just grab the conchologist. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think it would have really mattered, but yeah. I guess it could have. If I if I did grab the conchologist, and if I did play conchologist instead of mayor. That round three, then I would have had one mana and maybe we hit. Purpleberry shake like our conchologist did, and then maybe with the purpleberry shake I get to kill the misfortune. I think we still probably lose, but that would have helped things. But I, I think we still lose. But yeah, I, I guess that probably would have been the better play. You know, looking back at it, I think that was the better play. So there we go. That was uh, Poppy, Braum, ended up two and three. Uh, that last one was a tough one. You know, like the Misfortune really did go crazy. And, you know, that that happens. Pirate Burn, you know. That's going to happen. I think that's probably a poor matchup for our deck. But the other two, I think the other two were, you know, maybe winnable with different play. They were really, they weren't easy games. They were pretty difficult games to play. And that's the thing about these Bandle City uh, decks is even though your cards are awesome, it's still not easy to play. And you and you don't really have the best interactions. You, you got that. You have, you know, not great interaction, but you do have the buster shots. But they're not easy games, and so I, I wish I would have, you know, done a few few things differently each game. Um, you know, lessons learned there. But if you if you play these decks a lot, especially if you find a specific deck that you you like a lot, and you play that Bandle City deck a lot, and you get really comfortable with it, you're gonna see your win rates go up and up because uh, these cards are really good. But it's just all about sequencing and and knowing your deck and knowing the different matchups and exactly what to play. Because when you have a hand that's full all the time and it has tons of one and two mana cards all the time it's difficult to determine exactly which ones to play every single round and exactly what to do it's not like the pirate burn deck which is incredibly easy to play where you just you know play you know your one drop then your two drop then your misfortune or your one then two ones and then misfortune um and then you play your burn spells at the end right like that's a that's a very easy deck to pilot this is going to be a really difficult deck to pilot. And so we saw that with, with two games that I, I think with with better play, I think I could have gone four and one, you know, still losing to the Pirate Burn, of course. Um, but it's it's not an easy uh, deck to pilot. So if you like playing stuff, though, like I, I like playing these decks because they are, it is such a challenge and you have so many decisions to make um, all the time. And that's the other, the other part. Not only do you have the decisions in your hand, but then also the, all the decisions in the manifesting, what cards to take, what cards you're going to use later on in the game. And when what cards are going to be important, um, you have all of that, all those decisions as well. So these manifest decks, um, difficult to play, but can be really rewarding for making the correct decisions. All right, but that's going to be it here for Poppy Braum. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, feel free to leave those comments about the deck. Uh, let me know how you like it. I guess to talk about Braum, I liked Braum in here because Braum just plays good defense, and you want to get to the late game with this kind of deck, and Braum helps with that. Doesn't help against Nexus damage, and we don't really have any Nexus healing, so there's that. We could play some Nexus healing. Freljord has some good Nexus healing, like Kindly Tavern Keeper comes to mind. We only have Bandle City Mayor at the three mana slot, so we could definitely fit some in. Um, but, you know, went a little bit bigger with, like, the Field of Rushes to try that out instead. Uh, but anyway, all right. Anyway, that's going to be here, though, for Poppy Brom. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.